My name is C.J. Anderson, and this is the story of one person's journey through Caesar's Way, how she became a pack leader in ways she never could have imagined. You're meeting Signal Bear. He's the one that started it all. He was a Red Zone rescue that I first encountered when I was working for a city client of mine. The people in the traffic signal shop came up and said, We have a Red Zone dog. If you want to go to your car, we are providing an escort. This dog had been given a death sentence. Animal control was due any time. When I got to the lot, I saw a male dog that was panicked barking, snarling, running around. I had to use my background in risk management, safety and health to decide can I safely help this dog without endangering myself, the other workers, or even the dog himself if he escapes from the secure yard and runs out into the street. After waiting quietly in a 105 degree sun for several hours, he came over to me and bumped my arm, quiet and submissive. I was able to then take him home where he was ready to start his new life learning Caesar's way. The rest of this story is found in Chapter 7 of Caesar's new book, Be the Pack Leader. Caesar's way is not obedience, it is behavior modification, but training is definitely part of what needed to happen in order to make this dog a good dog. Once he became socialized, we took him to classes. Caesar says, all ways are good that don't harm the dog. One of the greatest challenges that people have is their dogs doing something called claiming the space. This results in the animal just going into places that they're not allowed to be, like you see in this picture here. Our goal was to convert signal from this picture to the next. If you look at the top right picture, you'll see the door is open and I'm standing 10 feet outside. Teaching dogs not to charge out the door when the door is open is yet another gift that we get when we practice Caesar's way. Learning to respect the space and wait for permission to go out could make the difference between life and death for our animals. Exercise, discipline, and then affection. Wow, what a concept. So I elected, rather than to get on skates with my 53-year-old body, to use a children's bike instead where I could put my feet firmly on the floor. I would tie signal underneath my seat by his harness and then I would hold his leash so that I could control his head. He loved to run and he would pull the bike for 15 minutes or so and then I would pedal like mad and we'd both get our exercise. Signal was never that fond of the gentle leader. The halty didn't fit well on his nose. We were so grateful when the illusion collar came out and he didn't need to have that device anymore. The illusion collar took care of the last of the problems we had with pulling when we would go out on our walks. For a dog that had been so close to death, Signal had come such a long way, from that red zone feral dog to a dog that was much loved and in fact not only became the most social dog I've ever had, but also became a teacher dog. During this time I had two dogs that were 12 years old that were dying of cancer and I worked with Signal during that process. Once those two dogs passed on to the Rainbow Bridge, we then prepared to do more of the same lessons that we had learned to save other dogs who were in the process of being put down. The next piece talks about the other lives that have been saved thanks to the many gifts, the knowledge, the skill, and the techniques I learned of Caesar's Way. Nala, an Anatolian Shepherd, was a dog that had no social experience at all. 
After we rescued her from her old home in Phoenix, Arizona, I was able to negotiate an extra three days where Signal helped me to socialize her and make her comfortable being around both people and dogs. Using Caesar's way to introduce dogs to each other and to do the walk correctly with other dogs went a long way in the three short days I was able to work with her before I moved her through the rescue transport to her new forever home in California. Micha, a low esteem black Sharpe, had been on the wait list for adoption for six months before I decided to try to help her using Caesar's way. Thank heavens those techniques made all the difference in the world, not only for integrating her into our pack, but also in all the ways that you could see her step forward and try to take control, even though she really seemed to hate it. It made the difference when I would notice things like her leading me down the hallway, leading me to the food, trying to get up on the bed before I did. Once I took control of that situation and had her wait until I was ready to go. Again, following Caesar's directions, I decided to put a waist leash on, and that way when I walked around the house, if she tried to get in front of me, I could just pull back a little bit and she would step back behind me. It took her no time at all to understand her place was behind me, not in front. Buddy, the Beagle, was another rescue who was within hours of being euthanized if no one stepped forward to help. His problem was food aggression. He had had several bites and was on his last chance. No one in Northern California could step forward to save his life. But one person knew about Caesar's way and decided to give it one more try. One of the more important elements of Be the Pack Leader to me is how it is that I have learned from my dog to be able to tell the truth of what I'm really feeling by the way that they're reacting to me. I've gotten so used to the social mask I put on to engage with others that most of the time I can't tell what's really going on deep inside of me in spite of all my years of personal growth work. Be the Pack Leader teaches me how to use the dogs as a tool, that I can learn to trust my instincts and return to my intuition about what is true about my relationship with others. Once I've learned to do this with dogs, it's much easier to do this with humans when we're more likely to be put in prey situations as others try to manipulate us for their own benefit. One of the most outstanding gifts from Caesar's Way has to be learning how to put our dogs on treadmills. Caesar's technique on the treadmill can be used to bring down a high energy dog that wants to pull or that may be overexcited before we take them out on walks. In these slides I've incorporated some of the safety techniques I've learned to use to protect the dogs. Treadmills are not substitutes for walks. And do consult a professional if you have any concerns as to possible dangers to the health of your dog. I have had all my dogs trained to treadmill since I got Signal Bear. I went to a Caesar seminar just this last September. Many of the techniques and knowledge and skills were discussed at that seminar. I was so inspired that when I returned I was able to put all of my dogs on the treadmill without needing to tie them off with a leash. This last piece is perhaps the most exciting of all the pieces that can demonstrate how useful the many applications of Caesar's Way can be to both our dogs and ourselves. What is the difference between the book Caesar's Way and Be the Pack Leader? Reading Caesar's Way is a little like driving a car in that it explains the mechanics about how to use Caesar's Way to be effective with your dogs. 
Reading and working with B, the pack leader, is like understanding how that car works. You are so much better prepared to cope with any unexpected situation that you will find your way back to your instincts that is so important it may one day save your life.